Okay guys, as you know from my last video, I was dabbling with 31 kilohertz at 240p. Um, some people were wondering whether this would even be possible on the Raspberry Pi. Um, thinking it doesn't really have the power. Well, here's our test. Um, my Raspberry Pi test at the minute, as we know, 240p does work. But it does already have the overheads of a full X11 um, server. So, we'll power this on and we'll see what happens. Oh, just to add, um, I'm using the same HDMI to VGA output as I was with my laptop when I was running the 31 kilohertz test at 240p. <coughs> now, I will add, um, yes, I use uh, Sonic 2 a lot for my testing. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a reason for that, and that is... Uh, during the game, there is a resolution change. So when you go from a one player to a two player mode, it goes from 240p to 480i. So it's a, it's a good benchmark test for the whole CRT switching situation. Now this is uh, 240p running in 31 kilohertz through our lovely Raspberry Pi now this is the 480i resolution I was telling you about now people are wondering whether a 31 kilohertz monitor can do uh, interlaced resolutions as you can see from the menu I'm not sure if you can see with my camera Probably not. It refreshes so fast because obviously it's refreshing 120 hertz. You can't really see it too well. But it, it is clearly a interlaced resolution. So I want to just add one last thing to the end of this video, um, and that's performance, basically. Um, so I'm going to disable my my throttling to keep the game running at its correct frame rate. Um, so it will, it will run unthrottled. Um, I'm going to hide what's going on, on the screen for a second, because uh, this currently is my little secret. And we will now play Unfold. So this is 240p unthrottled on the Raspberry Pi at 31 kilohertz. So performance definitely is not an issue. And again, this is also using the, uh, the X11 overhead. 